Number 11. A restaurant customer left a $3.50 as a tip. The tax on the meal was 7% and the tip was 20% of the cost including tax. Well, here I can see they're giving me a percent and a percent and there's that word of. So I'm just going to mark those right now. So they show us the bottom part of the bill and there's two parts to this question. A, what piece of information is not needed to compute the bill after tax and tip? And B, what was the total bill? Well, I'm going to rewrite a little bit of this information right here in my notebook because I like to have things kind of in picture format. It's easier for me. So I'm not sure how many of you have ever looked at a restaurant bill, but when you get your restaurant bill here in Arizona, you have your items, you have your Coke and your sandwich and whatever it was that you ordered, and then you have your cost, however much your items cost. Then generally you have something called a subtotal. And a subtotal means, okay, what's the, what's the total up to this point? Up to this point right here. So they use the calculator and they put in a number right here. And so there's, there's a dollar amount right there for the subtotal. Then they said there's a 7% tax on this amount. And so that is an additional amount of money that is added to this amount of money. So there's some money added here and then there's another total. So we have another bit of money right here. I need to extend my bill. Then they bring this to you and they put it on your table or wherever you happen to be sitting. And this is the amount that you owe. Well, in our book, they indicate that you decide to leave a $3.50 tip. So the tip that you leave is $3.50. So the grand total would go here. This would be the amount that you would add to this quantity because you've already added in the tax up here. You would add your tip in and this is the amount of money that you would be paying right here, the grand total. Our problem tells us what our sales tax is, 7%, and it tells us that the tip was 20% of the cost, including the tax. Well, here's my cost, including the tax, right here. So my tip was 20% of whatever that amount was. Whatever that amount was, I figured 20% of that and I got $3.50. So I know my 20% is equal to this. So I'm going to use this as a fraction and this number that I know is my tip to answer my question. What piece of information is not needed to compute the bill after tax and tip? After tax and tip. Well, 
the piece of information i really don't need to know is whatever their sales tax was because my tip is based on whatever that total was now as joshua pointed out the other day sometimes people base the tip on this total right here this problem's a little trickier because they want us to base our tip on this total right here. So the piece of information I really don't need to know is what the sales tax was. But they told us, and that's okay. So the answer for this one is the 7% tax is what I really am not going to be using to solve my problem. I'm going to be using the fact that I know that my tip was 20% of the bill. So the last one is, what was the total bill? Well, the total bill they're asking about is down here, the grand total. So the first thing I have to do is I have to figure out the relationship between the tip and this total. Now, we're going to use 20% and write it as a fraction equivalent to 20%. So I just put 20 over 100. 100 is always my denominator. Now when I think about this, is the tip more than this total or is it less than this total? Well, unless you're a really good tipper, the tip is less than the total. It's not the same exact amount as the total, it's less. And when I look up here at this fraction, I can see that the number that is less is on top. So my $3.50 is going to go on top because my total bill is going to go down here. This total, not my grand total. So to figure out this answer, I'm going to use cross multiplication like I always do. 20 times x is equal to 3 dollars and 50 cents times 100 so 20x when i multiply with a decimal and i'm multiplying by a number that is a power of 10 I can simply count the number of zeros that are in that number and I can move it over two places. So this is 350. To get my X all by itself, I'm going to divide on both sides. 20 divided by 20 is X because this is one times X and 350 divided by 20 is the same as 35 divided by 2. Seventeen and five tenths. Now because I'm dealing with money, I know that I need a zero here. Because in our money system there's two decimal places. So this means that my total right here was $17.50. This was my total right here. After they added in the cost of what I ate and then they added their tax, the total up to that point was $17.50. Then I figured out what 20% of this amount was and I got $3.50. Now, the question wants to know 
How much money then did you spend all together? Well, that just means we have to take the amount that the bill was, add our tip, and that's our answer for part B. So for part B, I'm gonna take $17.50 and add $3.50 to it. I'm putting a T there for total. And if I'm not confident of my mental skills or if I don't want to add these in column form, I can use my calculator. So the total bill was $21.50.